Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, uh, it's one of them special boxes again. <coughs> Excuse me. You've seen these boxes quite a few times on this channel. Personally, I think Gepar C make the best frames. Right, full stop. Right, now I know loads of people are going to disagree with me, which is fine. Right, each to their own. Right, me personally, I think Gepar C make the best frames. Full stop. Okay then, well, we've got a new frame for you. Now, this video, I'll tell you right now, right, I'm going to split it up into parts, right, because I've been asked on several occasions, how do you set up smart audio, or how do you set up a GPS, or how do you this, or how do you that, and nine times out of ten, I just uh, give them a link to either one of my videos where I might have done it, or a link to somebody else's video who's done it, or something like that. But uh, I have been asked a few times, so what I'm going to do with this is open her up, show you the frame and everything, and then show you it fully assembled. And I'm going to do a build video, but uh, it'll be in stages, right? because individually I want to talk about what I'm putting in it. For instance, I've uh, got a brand new uh, VTX right for long range and as i said i'm putting gps on it and everything and i'll be using the uh anan mm long range receiver module uh so there'll be a few bits and pieces to it and i want to talk about the individual things right so that i can cover everything for new pilots right let's just get into this frame then well uh put my glasses on uh, it's Gepar C, right, as you already heard me say, right, and it's the uh, KHX5, right. Now, what I like about this frame straight away, right, the arms are detachable, which you'll see. I'll just show you this picture real quick. You always get a bit of information with it. But because the arms are detachable, right, if I remember, I'll leave a little picture up in a minute. You can uh, make this as a 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch and even a 7 inch, right? So you can really mess about with it because they sell all, all the different size arms fit, right? So it's a really nice frame. It's got one or two little special features to do with the carbon fibre and everything. I've got some stickers as you always get with Gepasi, you always get stickers and you always get some type of manual, right? Oh, some LED, L, L, A, LEDs, right, all set up in a bag, right, all nice and neat. It's very rare when I use LEDs on a quad, but because these are all sealed up in a bag, they'll probably go straight onto eBay. Or put them in my box for a giveaway sometime. And you get one, two, three straps, right. Now, I assume you've got two straps for your battery, and they've added an extra strap in for your... Uh, HD cam, your GoPro or your Runcam 5, like what I use, the uh, Runcam 5. So I reckon the extra strap is for that. But uh, yeah, so very nice, three straps. You always get loads of padding and stuff, and half the time I never know what to bloody do with it. And I don't mean battery mounts. you got these individual little cut-offs here, right? And... Uh, I ain't got a clue, <laughs> right, and you always get lots of foam, and there's some more foam there, these are stripped into sections, so you can uh, cut them, and fit them along the arms for padding and protection and stuff, right, XT60, boring, right, bag of nuts and bolts and stuff, boring, a little uh, standoff for your antennas and your uh, VTX, uh, you always get little spanners with Gep RC, but uh, you probably never use them because you, you, you'll just reach for your normal spanners and stuff. But it's nice that they're in there, because if you're a brand new pilot, you might not have the right size. So it's nice that they're in there. Right, you've got uh, your, your arms, your bottom plate, your mounting plates, your tops. Uh, this has side panels to protect your gear. you got your aluminium. Right, or for our American cousins, aluminum, bloody aluminium. <laughs> and you've obviously got your uh, sticky top for your batteries. 
and a couple of extra little bits in there antenna tubing and stuff right uh, I've just opened this up to show you one arm and then I'll put it together and show you a fully assembled as always with Gepar C it's really high quality carbon it's about the best carbon out there right I'll leave some information in the description if I remember right about the carbon fiber and stuff but it's always well milled down always nice smooth edges and everything and uh, if you take a look at these arms right if you notice on each point where your screws would go they put a tiny I ain't got anything to point with so I'll use my bloody finger there you go uh, tiny little extra piece of carbon fibre coming out on each corner just to help protect that side of the motor where the screws are because as we know that part is your weakest part usually right? but because they've put these extra four little corners the way they've cut it right? I don't know if you'll see that on there if I, uh, I'll tell you what because it's black on black isn't it so if I just put that down there Right, and uh, zoom in, you'll be able to see better. That's much better. Yeah, each arm, the cables, by the way, once the motors are on, the cables run through this little slot and they go underneath to your ESC. Right, so there's no chance of a prop strike on your cables, which is nice, but it's not the only one on the market doing that. But yeah, there's these four little extra corners here. Right, carbon fibre coming out just to help protect your motors, which is a really, really nice idea. And uh, yeah, that is it. Oh, it's high, uh, the aluminium, while I remember, yeah, is high grade. I can't remember, I'll have to look that up actually, and I'll put some up on the screen or in the description. But it's high grade, so it's very light, it's a special type. Right, it's very light but extremely, extremely strong. Okay, then there are all the bits in the box. Right, that's the boring bit. Let's uh, put it together, do a jump shot, come back, show you it all assembled. Right, it's quite narrow, and this is the type. Uh, sorry, I'll just zoom out. Way wrong way. This is the type of frame where you mount uh, your boards and everything upside down. Right, so everything's mounted upside down, so you get at it by undoing the bottom and working at it upside down, if you know what I mean. And before anybody says that's a copy of the remix, this was first. Alright, so don't say that. So yeah, so let's get it put together and uh, show you what fully assembled. Jump cut. Just before I show you the finished uh, build, all right, all the frame all put together, I just thought I'd stop at this point and uh, film this bit. All right, there's uh, your top plate, which you'll uh, recognise straight away because it actually says Gep RC on it. All right, there's like a little square plate with a hook coming out. That's where your battery strap's going to go. All right, your arms go in between them two plates. All right, now. There's eight little locking threads that you actually have to push into this square piece yourself, right? And then as you push the nuts through, right, they lock onto the threads. Okay, I just thought I'd show you this bit because if you happen to be a brand new pilot and you get one of these, this bit might just confuse you. Okay, then... Uh... I'll come back if they come across anything else, or if not, we'll just go straight to the finished uh, build. Okay then, just showing you this part again. The four arms slide in nice and easy, right? The screws speak for themselves, right? You've got the flat ones in the middle, and the more protruding ones on the side, so your battery will never touch them. Right, and once you've got all four arms on, you can build this part separately, obviously. Uh, you've just got that uh, mounting bottom plate with a hook on. Arms go in between that and the frame. And as for the bottom, I'm not going to go into this, it speaks for itself. It's just two spacer bars, you put them together. Wacky camera in. All right, get it ready. Bottom plate, just screws on. Right, fits into some slots nice and tight. 
and there are two uh, aluminium uh, spaces at the back now I've decided I said I wasn't going to use the LEDs well I am I'll tell you why they've actually got a buzzer right so you've got your LEDs and a buzzer all built in right so I thought great I mean yeah I'll have one of them uh, battery powered like a Hellgate buzzer as well but uh, in case the battery gets ejected but it's always good to know where uh, you've got an extra buzzer there and you've also got uh, LEDs as well so I've just noticed that's loose so I'll just tighten that but no it's uh, gone together quite easy all right nothing difficult because at the end bit here all right this will literally fit on there and uh, we're almost done all right you can see it's reasonably tight in there all right but uh, there's enough room for your bits and pieces and also what uh, GEP do they give you this extra little plate here that you can run off the side so you can have your ESC your ESC what am I on about you can have your VTX on one side and underneath you can have your antenna uh, but it all depends which way you want to do it but uh, I just thought I'd show you these two parts because if you put them both together separately then you can literally just join them up which I'll do now so uh, quick jump shot well there you go then pilots and ground crew she's finished I just put that on there to see how it's going to fit but it'll fit nicely on there right uh, yeah uh, very simple to put together very simple indeed and extremely strong uh, I will mention I forgot to mention the arms uh, four mil uh, four mil just under four mil I think it was actually let me double check No, 4mm thick, yeah. The arms are 4mm thick and as I said, really small, very well made and everything. Beautiful looking frame. And uh, as I said at the beginning, right, you mount your flight control gear upside down. But all you have to do, right, is remove them four screws there. This bottom plate comes off in one piece and then you can get at uh, all your electrics and everything for mounting everything uh, inside and wiring and everything this little hook uh, you actually get a little uh, rubber grommet and you feed your, your battery through so you can just for plugging in your battery that's all that that's for if I can reach down here you'll see what I mean on here it's just a little rubber grommet that pushes in there and uh, it's just to keep your cable, your battery cable, secure without uh, wobbling about during flight. But yeah, very simple build, not difficult at all. Like I said, a brand new pilot might wonder what them little metal, uh, these little metal grommet things are, but I've covered that. All right, you only get eight, all right, and there's eight holes big enough for them to fit, so it's not difficult. Uh, the battery. First center of gravity it's set to be mounted perfectly in the middle so you're gonna get a really good center of gravity and as you can see just in there hopefully there's a little gap just for your battery strap to go whoa just for your battery strap to go through there all right so it won't be near any of the electrics at all right because there's another plate this other plate all right so your battery strap can't catch any of your electrics or anything and uh, as I said there's this extra little plate here which will get mounted on the inside if we get that out just to show you because you can't see through the plastic there extra little plate here all right and uh, because it's quite tight in there if you don't want to mount anything onto the bottom plate which you can do I mean it's not that difficult but you'd literally for want of a better word not this way Right, but connect uh, that plate onto the back and then you can have your VTX or receiver above on the inside on the other side of that plate. If you'd notice or you already have noticed I should say it's got a couple of little side plates for extra protection all right, so that uh, keep the crap off. Obviously it's still open at the side, so it's one of them uh, looks nice, works a little bit, won't make a great deal of difference. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think she looks quite nice. And as I said, uh, I have mounted the uh, the uh, LEDs, the lights, 
right, because there was a buzzer on the back of that as well so you've already got a buzzer built in but I will be using an external Hellgate buzzer as well I haven't bothered putting all the padding and all the foam and all like that on because I'll be using it as top mounting. You could use this as a bottom mounted battery I suppose but uh, I'll be putting that big piece of foam across there for uh, protection that came with and then you've got your battery support and uh, yeah so there she is then and uh, she's quite a nice frame if I say so myself. I knew it would be well made, I knew it would be strong, I knew it would be lovely to touch because it's made by Gep RC. All right? And as I've said, well you've seen my videos before no doubt, All right? and I get a lot of Gep RC stuff because uh, I think their frames are the, about the best, if not the best. Any other than uh, Pilots and Ground Crew, where that's the end of the video and uh, part 2. I'll uh, start the build and uh, like I said I'll be doing it in jump shots so to speak or in stages because I want to talk through for new pilots how to wire individual things and how to like set up your smart audio or your GPS and stuff because I'm uh, getting GPS on this because I'm going to be using it as uh, freestyle as always right but uh, I thought I'd get GPS on it and the long range system and everything can uh, have a good buzz around shall we say. Okay then, uh, watch out for part 2. Uh, hope you enjoyed, any questions and I'll leave loads of information in the description. Uh, okay then, thanks for watching and cheers.